Good afternoon everybody. As you can see, this is my summit shell after I took it out last time in all the mud and it's absolutely grunty. So, as this has quite a lot of metal parts, you know, integrated into the plastic, all the little screws and everything, I'm gonna try and see if we can give it a bit of a clean up. If you don't keep on top of this type of thing, they do get really grunty. You know, and you don't want that, do you? These things are not cheap. You know, so all you do is you just flick off any loose bits. But this is just like a normal paintbrush. I mean, I don't know how well this is going to work. I've used this technique on other stuff. And it's worked out really well. And then get the top. This is just off a, um, I think it's off some carpet cleaner to be fair. But I've got picked up at Tesco's. But what you do is you then get some WD and squirt it in to the thing. Oh, I think this tin's finally. Well, bits coming out. Mm. Not a great deal. Well, we'll have a go. I've got another tin here. Let's say I'm doing this live, so I've no idea how it's going to come out. But, as I say, it did work on the Land Rover. It brought that up quite nice. The FTX one. What you do then is just plunk the brush in and just try it and see if it'll bring any of this crap off really. Because I've tried expensive chemicals like muck off and all that type of stuff. Let's be honest, it was rubbish. And it's really expensive. You know, for what it costs. Now, I'm not expecting this to get it totally immaculately clean, but if it gets some of it off and just protects the plastics. Now, I'm not using my tripod because where I am, there's no room. Wash this stuff on. Doesn't help. It's moving around. Yeah, if this gets it a little bit cleaner, it'll be good. And to be honest, the other thing with this doing it this way, a tiny bit of WD-40 goes a long way. Right, let's turn it round. Okay. So you can see in there, I don't know how well you can see, if I tip it on its side, see there's only a tiny amount. We're not using loads of it. There you go. Sorry, we got a bit close there, but let's try and do it and hold the camera. But this, um, I don't know what you call it, like exoskeleton that's on the summit. It's held on with lots of little metal screws. This is why I use WD-40 because it gets all, it stops them rusting. Because what you don't want is that sometime in the future, if you have to take this off and you can't get at anything because it's all rounded off.
there we go i think for now i'm going to pause the video and uh I'll get some paper towel or something and just give it a quick wipe over and see what it's come up like. Because the other thing with this process, you don't really know how it's come out until it's dry. I'm sure you see it's starting to look better. But if you don't look after your RCs, you know, they're just not going to run properly. You're just going to end up, you know, broken clobber. The inside's not bad, actually, not. There we go. Right, I'm going to let this dry and then give it a bit of a polish. And then I've got some wipes, which will probably get the last bits of it off, hopefully. But anyway, I'm going to end this video now and I'll speak to you all soon.